Hey YouTube, it's Andrea here with Helping Hearts 888 and I'm just coming on to share a quick little message. Um, if you guys have been here along with me on my journey or you're new to my channel, thank you for like sharing and subscribing to my channel. Um, got a little bit tongue tied, but um, I just want to share something with you guys that I've learned along this journey um, called life. Um, if some of you guys are wondering out here why... Um, why you just feel stuck sometimes um, and things aren't happening for you, but you're seeing it happen to other people. Um, sometimes um, people tend to not be happy for other people when their blessings come in. And God wants you to be happy when you see your friend get married or when you see your friend or family member get pregnant or your friend or family member just bought a home or they got a car or they got approved for a loan or they got a new job you know sometimes you have to clap for those people not sometimes you need to clap for those people because just because it's not happening in your life right now you're where you're supposed to be at right now and that thing that you want is trying to come to you but you have to clap for the people that surround you that's how I've got a lot of my blessings. I'm I'm always happy for those around me. Even if that person did something to me. I don't like to say I have enemies anymore. Um I just don't like to say that. I know it's a real thing, but I don't like to say that. But sometimes you have to be happy and you have to clap for others. I've heard people say, um, man, she got married. Why haven't I got married yet? Or Ugh, that person got a car and they didn't even work for it. Or that person didn't have to work hard for that. It was handed over to them and nothing was handed over to me. I had to work hard for it. Sometimes in life, people are giving things and that's just the way it is. But you should be happy for them no matter how it came to them. And you'll start to see more blessings and changes in your own life once you start to be happy for other people. Um, and that's basically all that I wanted to come on here and say because that's one of the secrets. Um, giving to others too. I, I've encountered a lot of people who don't want to give to people and it's crazy because you're not giving with the intentions of getting something back but when you give God's spirit the most high your ancestors they see you and a lot of people like me I will give to people who have done me wrong constantly not because I'm weak or because whatever you may think because I might know people are taking advantage of me, but at the end of the day, we are here to share, to give, to uplift. And I don't mind helping other people. Even if I don't have much, I'm always the type that if I have $10, I'll give you 5 Sometimes I'll even give you the shirt off my back because there's been times where I have given to people who I knew didn't like me, talked about me, couldn't stand the air that I breathe. Me breathing just made them sick. But it was like, what would God want you to do? What would Jesus do? You know? And um, that has gave me so many blessings in my life. Like, I'm going to give you guys an example. I was in the store, and there was an older person. I was in there getting um, some lottery tickets. And this older man was in there. He was trying to buy his lottery tickets as well. But here, you can't buy a lottery with your debit card. And he wasn't understanding why his purchase wouldn't go through. And the store owner told him why. And I went behind him, and I whispered, how much is this total? You know? And I paid for it. And he turned around, and he said, hey, give me your name so just in case i win i can call you and i'm like no sir you know i'm in here for that too you know but then he needed more because he was trying to buy another and he couldn't and then the man behind him who was there the whole time after i did it decided to take something out his pocket and it was like first it, the thought was mm, you could already did that but it was like andrea no maybe you were the one who showed that person right there that that was a good thing. You were doing a good deed. And sure enough, I bought my little scratch off tickets, came home. I scratched them off and I won every single block. Or if you've ever played scratch off, I won on every single block. Sometimes God gives you tests. Are you going to pass that test or are you going to fail that test? 
Are you going to pass it or are you going to fail? Because sometimes God is giving you a test and it's like, you know what to do, but it's like, mm, I ain't going to do that. I notice people who see homeless people or people who, I'm not, I don't even like to say that word, but people who don't have as much as them and they frown upon them. They look down upon them. And my aunt always taught me that that homeless person could be an angel in disguise and God wants to see how you treat that person. So let me tell you, I have given out a hundred at a time, like don't matter don't matter i give it because you don't know who that is standing right there you don't know and um it's really crazy to me but i hope this message i hope you learned something from this message right here um peace love and blessings to you all